course, Java, was it an instant success? Or did it, did it I remember very well uh, in the 94 or 95, Kim Police coming and showing us this new thing that uh, the, everybody was going to move to. And by the way, it is a huge success. It's right now the number one most used language in the world, I think. Um, but was it an uh, Yeah, it's, it's a, astonishing that it, that it, you know. It's amazing, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, and partly because uh, it's not just people using Java. They're, the JVM is being used by, and I know you worked for a Scala company for a while. It's been closure well, I, I, and so I, I, many I, I, other. I've been on an advisory board. On advisory them. board, yeah. And so many other languages on top of it. The JVM is a brilliant uh, abstraction that, uh is powering probably a, a significant portion of the software everybody watching is using, including, of course, and we'll get to this in a moment, <laughs> your Android device. Not not without some some problems along the way. Uh, but was it was it an interesting success out of the box? I mean, uh, did, did did people yeah, jump, I mean, jump it on was, it? it? Was it, it was it was really different? Um, you know, my 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 wife sort of beat me into writing this. Um, uh, white paper that was the, the that was the, the sort of series of stories of how it solved different problems and um, lots of people sort of grabbed onto it and went hey this is really really cool and um, I, I was completely blown away um, you know when there was a there was a point where you know you know when you have a you know, when you work for a company, you often have to write out your like annual goals. And as we were coming up to sort of, you know, we had sort of decided that this should go from being a research project to something that we would distribute. Um, I, you know, my, my manager asked me to like write something in my goals for, you know, what would count as success. And I think my, my, my success goal was, was like, you know, if a thousand people downloaded it and tried it out, I'd consider that success. <laughs> and and um, um, the, my the sort of manager at the time, um, he, he he thought I was being pretty edgy. He thought that that would be kind of difficult to achieve. Um, and I rather grotesquely overachieved on that one. <laughs> Oracle today says there's six and a half million Java programmers in the world. I bet you that number's low. And uh, every time I install Java now, it says something like, "There, did you know there are a billion devices running Java?" Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I mean, part of the part of that math is sort of is sort of strange because um, Java is at the core of the most of the the, the smart card specs. So. Um, you know, all, you know, there, 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 are, there are Java virtual machines, you know, inside smart cards. No kidding, really. Uh, and inside uh, SIM cards and cell phones. You're kidding. There's an actual yeah. JVM inside this, in that little dumb chip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and they're 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 like like um, you know, lots of ID cards. That's amazing. Uh, well, lots of the more advanced ID cards have JVMs in them. That's a proof of concept. How did your wife know that you should do that? Is she a computer scientist? No, no, but um, she, you know, shows. So, so, so my wife's a, a very sharp lady. Um, you know, one of these sort of Wharton MBA types. Um, and you know, I'd be like really excited about what I was doing and. You know, being a nerd, I'd I'd always you know express my excitement in sort of nerd speak, and um, she was she was always like, "Come on, you know, you, you know, when you're explaining something, um, it makes no sense to like dive into nerd speak. It's like, <laughs> for me, a non-nerd, what problems does this solve? That's a good point. Yeah. Right. And yeah. and 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 that's been uh sort of a mantra for me, you know, you know, ever since, um, that, you know, if you've got something exciting, you have to, and you're trying to explain it to somebody, you have to explain it in terms that make sense to the listener, not the speaker. Right. You know, so, so like, like there was this list of like sort of a dozen cool things. And, and so like, like the, the architecture neutral, aspect of the of the bytecodes um 
you know, the fact that 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 that, that, that meant that, for instance, a, a hardware manufacturer could could swap chips somewhat painlessly. Yeah. Um, you know, that's not sort of exciting for a for a nerd, but it sure is exciting for a like a purchasing manager. Sure. Um, you know, so you have to you know explain it in a way that makes sense to your audience and. Um, my wife spent a lot of time twisting my arm on that. <laughs> Nerds need need somebody to help explain what's going on <laughs> to real people. Yep. 